If you are out and about in West Springfield today, you likely saw this spectacle at the McDonald's right across from Bass Pro. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Abreu. Thanks for being with us this Saturday evening. Springfield fire crews spent the afternoon battling a fire that started in the mulch outside of the building. Color 10's Jesse Inman has new information about this fire that forced employees and customers out of the restaurant. Jesse. Yeah, Jen, it was around noon when that fire started at the restaurant, causing damage inside and outside the store. One official with McDonald's tells me it was enough extensive damage to close the restaurant indefinitely. You know, it's typical around lunchtime to have anywhere from 20 to 50 guests in a restaurant. We're so busy at lunch on a Saturday. Nobody ever plans for something like this to happen. Public Relations Director at McDonald's, Kristen Bergman, says as soon as it became apparent there was a fire, the fire department was called and the store was evacuated. We were thankfully able to evacuate all of our guests and employees so that everyone was safe uh, whenever the smoke began. One of the guests at the store during the fire was Michaela Lee, who says she saw employees trying to put the fire out with cups of water before crews arrived. This is what she heard happened. There's wood chips over where the bushes are on the side of the building. And what happened was somebody flicked. They didn't put the cigarette butt out, so got fire started escalating. Battalion Chief Heath Aldridge with the Springfield Fire Department says that could be the case, but they can't yet confirm that a cigarette was the cause. That's one possibility. Uh, unfortunately, we've not been able to locate the cigarette. Uh, we can't at this point determine we're going to call it an accidental fire that started in that mulch area, probably with a cigarette, but we can't say that for certainty. Aldridge says the fire worked its way from the ground up the wall and into the ceiling. These types of calls require extra caution. We're always concerned with a restaurant construction like this because of the history of their roof failures. Most of their air conditioning units are on the roof, and so any fire to those structures cause them to sag and fail quickly. Meanwhile, McDonald's is keeping its employees in mind as it works to reopen. We are working right now to just connect with all of our employees and make sure that uh, we are able to, to work with them uh, in some of our other stores. And Bergman says that with it being a weekend, it can take some extra time to work with insurance adjusters and get a game plan together for what the next move will be. But she estimates that by late Monday, they should have a better idea on a timetable to reopen at that location.